Hello! You keep asking us to make more fidgets, so here they are. We bring you three new ideas that we're sure you will like. Today we make new fidget toys with Elgato Rainbow and Elgato Moon. The first idea we're going to do is one that our subscriber Wadagato suggested. It's a slightly different squishy and we found it very interesting, so we're going to show you how we made it. We will need some pink foam, a plastic bag, scissors, a marker and glue. We're going to start by cutting two pieces of foam of the same size. And we're going to draw a gato rainbow and gato moon sardine on top. You already know that we love to make materials with this sardine because they turn out super cute. Once we have it, as you can see, I've gone over it with a slightly darker color marker. And we're going to cut out the two pieces of foam at the same time, so that we have the same shape on the other side. See? And now we simply turn it over and we will also paint the outline with a darker marker. And now it's time to make the filling of this squeezy. For this we're going to use a plastic bag because it will make a super soothing sound. So you can see I'm cutting a few pieces to make sure that they fit inside the squishy. Now we're going to glue the two pieces of foam that we prepared before and you can do this with hot glue gun or with cold silicone if you have it or you can also sew it if you want. When we have it we will leave a little hole without closing and we will start putting the little pieces of bag in. When we see that we have enough bag inside we will close it. That's it! The truth is that we could have put a little bit more of plastic back and maybe it would have been even better, but we love it! Listen to the sound that it makes! It looks good, doesn't it? And it's super easy to make! If you like this idea and the others that we upload to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a like on this video! Let's continue with the next idea! We're going to make an infinite star. You will need paper of two colors cut in squares, eight of one color and eight of another, and also some glue. And now I'm going to show you slowly how to fold each of the squares to make this fidget. First we fold it like this, and we're going to open it up again. And now we bring the corners to the center. like this and when we've got that done we're going to open it back up and we're going to bring the corners to the fold that we just marked like this when we've got it we fold it back on itself now we turn it over and we bring these corners back to the center, but as you can see on the other side. Perfect! And now we've got this kind of tabs on this side, so we're going to fold them over we fold it back on itself and we have this shape, a kind of heart. And now we're just going to glue them to each other, alternating the colors. You can use any kind of glue, but make sure it's strong enough so that the whole star doesn't come off later. If you like this video toys, don't forget to let us know in the comments. We'll make more of these videos for the channel.
let's keep going. When we have them all glued, we add a little bit more of silicone or glue and glue it to the first one we put. And it's as easy as that! Check out how good it looks! We simply have to go around and around and as you can see it never comes apart. It's super cool! What do you think? By the way, we remind you that we have many resources on our website that you can download. For example, these cards to work on reading and writing perfect for the summer. We'll leave the link in the description of the video. And now we're going to make our last fidget of today's video. We will need some cardboard, foam, a flat iron, a little bowl, or in our case, a pen that has this shape on top, scissors, a hot glue gun, and finally a pencil and something that has a circular shape. We're going to make a puppet in the shape of a heart. For that I'm making a template, but if you draw very well you can do it by hand. As you can see I'm tracing this template on the cardboard. And I'm going to make circles all over the heart. We're going to make a super cool puppet. Make sure they're more or less symmetrical to make it look even better. When we have it, we're going to cut it out. And also the circles that we've made. And when we have one, we will do the same on the other cardboard. And to make them exactly the same, we're going to use the one that we have already cut as if it were a template, and we trace it on the other cardboard. Sometimes you guys ask us what size of circles to make. We always use a small roll of tape because it's the perfect size. We cut it out, and when we have both of them, we're going to add a touch of color by painting it red. Perfect! And while the paint dries, we're going to prepare the puppets. As I explained before, we're going to use this paint to shape our foam. We heat our iron, and we're going to pass it through our foam very carefully. Now we place it on top of our bowl or our pan and we hold it there until it cools down. Remember not to put the iron at too high a temperature so that the foam doesn't burn. And that's it! When it has cooled, the foam keeps the shape. Now we simply cut off the excess and repeat the process as many times as we need for our circles. And now it's time to glue them on our cardboard. So you can see I've made some red and some pink. Now we glue them on the back like this. And make sure that they're very well glued, because if not, then when you touch them they will all move. And now we're going to glue the other heart on top. As this one is quite big, we recommend that you do it in two parts. One half of the heart first, and then the other half. Great! And now we have our puppet! What do you think? The truth is that we love this idea of making it with foam. We're always surprised at how good it looks. And check out the sound that it makes! Almost like the real one! It looks good, doesn't it? If you do it, we will love to see it! Which video did you like the most today? The Infinity Star? The Sardine Squishy? Or the heart puppet? We'll read you in the comments!
And as every week, it's time for the round of greetings. This week we send a greeting to Nicolás, another greeting to Maria José, another one to Ashley, another greeting to Marcela, and finally a greeting to Alma Delia. Thank you all so much for watching our video. We hope you liked it. Remember you have this same video available in Spanish. And next week we'll upload a new video. Bye!